Wait a minute, two prisoners in one solitary cell, that's not good. Hello everybody and welcome back to the epic world of PC gaming. My name is Mikey B and welcome back to Prison Architect. And if you've been following along, um, you might notice it was a bit... Uh, I missed a couple of days of posting this and that's for good reason. It's because I was experimenting with my own... Uh, not recording like my own prison off like when I wasn't recording I was making my own prison basically and I was experimenting with a few things and I found that the one of the most profitable ways to make your prison so you end up at the end of each day you bring in a load of money is by starting a little workshop up and I think that's what I'm going to start with and thank you to the individuals who've been sending me tips and tricks and little things to help uh, the prison succeed and all that stuff I really appreciate all the help and all the nice comments and things so they've been really helpful including which is my favorite option at the minute because I had no idea you could just click this you click this little button and it will stop the prisoners from being delivered so I always thought that it was this perpetual is that the right word? Yeah, never-ending influx of prisoners. So at some point you'd hit the like a an end game wall sort of thing. So um, that was good to find because it means that I can now have a concentrated population of prisoners and sort them out like that. And I could possibly try bringing in some high-risk or low-risk prisoners as well. So right, we've got. All the, just looking because this is quite a bit different to my own like little prison at design. Oh, I just knocked the microphone. I don't know whether you'll hear that, but anyway. Right, we're working on all these cells because in 33 seconds we're going to get 26 new prisoners. Uh, yeah. Oh, and you know I was saying to make these solitary cells. Uh, apparently, you can make them even thinner so uh, watch this I don't know if you knew this but if I put that divider wall that divider wall there you can make this little like thin stretch of um, cell put a door on each end and you've got four solitary confinement cells I didn't know that you could do that until the other day and that's really handy for fitting solitary cells in um, right, let's demolish these walls as well to get that up and running. Uh, we got these guys setting up the new cells. Uh, we got 18 guards. Alright, I'm just getting a, a feel for it again because I've been playing my own prison so it's like everything's shifted around a bit, obviously. And I think we're all good in this little prison. I'm going to have a... What I'm going to try with this population, instead of going... Because I think I've got like 300 in my own prison. I'm going to concentrate on getting like 50 prisoners. Like, we're going to have about 60, 50, 60 prisoners, roughly. And I'm going to try and make them all sort of uh, get the general education program done. And the rehabilitation programs. So, making it so that even though there's not many prisoners here they're treated really sort of well enough that they can be re they can be released and they're not going to reoffend sort of thing totally sort them out and yeah enough with my sort of briefing as it were <laughs> right let's have a look we've got a huge truck of prisoners incoming in 27 minutes in game so that's 27 seconds Waiting for short-term funds and raise the prison capacity to 50. That'll be done in the next turn. Next turn, what am I that? In the next few minutes. Right, let's count. So, I think, yeah, the second row of cells will do it. Okay, I'm waiting for this big truck to come in now. We are going to have enough cops to bring them all in, aren't we? Yeah, I think we should be fine. 
Oh, we don't have a big perimeter fence. That's one thing that I found was really helpful because I could expand inside the prison without worrying too much. And uh, knowing that if any of the people got out of their cells, that even, you know, because there's a big perimeter fence, you could just set like a guard dog on them <laughs> and they can't escape. Right, here we go. One truck with four. Come on, let's watch this. Any more? Okay, I expected more prisoners than that. Or are they going to be spread out throughout the day? Oh, here we go. Two more trucks should be following, I think. Alright, this should be cool. Okay, one truck, two trucks. Damn, this whole place is going to be full up. At least they can't run away here. Glad we set that up quickly. Oh, and we need more janitors. That was a tip that I was given. More janitors to uh, cheer them up that way. Yeah, because the cells are covered in shit. Right, so it's £50 per day. We're making two grand per day. Um, so let's get... Could we afford eight janitors to get it up to ten? There's six janitors. Seven. Eight. Yeah, that's alright. So we've got ten janitors running about now. Keeping the place in mint condition, hopefully. There's no guard positioned at the gate, so... Alright, let's just open this manually, and then we'll lock it. Because these trucks need to get in. Whoa, there's a guy in a grey shirt there. What's he done different? Or has... Is he... I think that means he's a first-time offender. It must mean that, because he's going to get given his prison jumpsuit from the laundry people. Right, now let's lock this gate up again. Wow, that's a huge influx of prisoners. Holy shit, we need to set this up. Right, most of these cells are ready to go. Uh, let's start setting these up then. Jail door. One, two, th oh shit, wrong place. Three. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. How many workers have we got? We could help if we had more workmen. £100 per day. We could get six more of these dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Cutting it thin on the money, but we should get a huge 20 grand injection in a minute because of prison capacity being upgraded. Hopefully. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the utility. Yeah, we have got enough room for... Okay. Let's get... One. It costs 500 per cell. Roughly, I was told. So, that's a good rule of thumb to work off. I'm not going to have enough money for every single one of these cells. So, I've got to play it by ear. Oh, wrong one. Alright, there we go. Let's wait for them to get all that set up. New plates. Or trays. And food. Huh. Alright, let's stick it in fast forward. Let's see what's going to happen. We should just hurry up building. Wait a minute, two prisoners in one solitary cell, that's not good. I've got more... Uh. Oh well. You don't actually need one of these solitary doors on a solitary cell. 
I found out you can have just a standard jail cell though which is pretty handy because it's a lot cheaper to set up like that right now we just need to plumb in all these toilets alright let's go one super cheap to do Ooh, there we go no surprise money is going to pop up are they? damn it hire a gardener okay and we will get money then Hell yeah, let's get a gardener up. Yay, we've got money. Money is... That boosted us a bit. So we should be able to increase the prison capacity. Right, let's not take any more prisons. Let's close that off for a minute. And we'll focus on looking after the people we've got and raising money. Right, we need two more cells up and running and we'll get that extra money, the 20,000. And let's stick that and fast forward again. I think I'm going to build like a classroom or what would be good here. Um, extending the yard actually, that would be good. And putting grass in it because I found out grass, again thanks to your comments, that grass cheers them up apparently. <laughs> right let's have a look at the timetable regime where is it now there we go so they got free time eating okay Right, yo, let's get on with this then. Uh, let's put one there, one there. There we go. And that should increase our money. Not our money, our prison capacity, and we'll get the money. The there we are. It's going down. Danger's going down. Yay. I want all the prisoners to say they're well treated so that they're not um so they don't reoffend or attack anyone. All right, now we can work on the solitary confinement cells. And go so we got 6 solitary confinement cells. Well, 7 including the big one up top, which I think will be for the really bad criminals. Uh, utilities. Yeah, let's not waste money. I was going to wire up here so that there was light down here, but there's no need for it at the minute. Wait, we raised the prison capacity. Oh, wait. Duh, I haven't marked them as cells. Damn it. There we go. Yay! 20 grand. Right, now what I'm going to do is work on sorting out this yard. Let's make... Let's extend the wall, or the fence even, out to... Let's make this whole area a yard. Uh, do we have to do a double fence, I wonder? I guess I could get away with doing that, because I've done it in my other prison. Instead of having a fence there, we put two doors here and have a guard in the middle so we can get in and out easier. Right. Okay, let's see if these guys will build that fence up. Because that area, them all being cramped together will piss them off. And we do not want that to happen. Ow. 
Right, good. When they're sleeping, I might extend the yard to the yard, the fence. I might do the outs outside of it overnight because I think that's about how long it'll take to do that. Um, Alright, let's sort this place out, make it nice so they don't get so angry with everyone. Let's replace it with concrete tiles around the edges. It's 200. It's going to quite it's going to cost quite a bit actually. Uh At least it's going to look nice and hopefully be a decent place to be so that they're not so unhappy and want to start a riot or some shit like that. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get a... Wait a minute, we haven't got all the staff employed yet. Let's have a look at the bureaucracy menu. Um, we've got deployment approved. Prison labour, we need to unlock that if we want them to be making... Uh, want them to be in the workshops. Um, let's unlock that now while we can. And... What's this? Prison policy. Unlocks the policy report allowing you to increase and decrease the punishments for all types of misconduct as well as automatically triggering, triggering oh, can't speak for shit triggering searches of the misbehaving prisoner and his cell. Also allows you to control the nutritional policy, changing the quantity and variety of food served to prisoners. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for that one as well then. I should really station, I always station a little guard that's in the middle there so that if anyone does try to make a runner, uh, he can catch him. Right, that looks pretty nice and now let's sort this out with some grass. It cost quite a bit, but it's an investment, I guess. So that they don't go ape shit. Right, it should look really nice. <laughs> Hopefully. Laying that grass. we go and I think we can cut this fence open now there we go and then we can label this area the yard and we could possibly extend this into an actual room and then make this the yard full stop so let's do that I think uh, where is the yard now Text is tiny. There we are. Good. There we are. Now, what I'm going to do is unallocate this as a yard. Actually, what I'm going to do is dismantle all the objects first, so we can move it. Let's move that, move that, move that, and pool table. So there's one there as well. There we go. Right, dismantle that whole area, and then we'll unassign it as a yard. What is the yard again? How have I... There we are. Okie dokie. So there we go. Good. Sorting this place out. I 
and then I'll just move these objects to here so it's nicer. I might turn this into a workshop or a classroom or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Wait, is that telly going to be dismantled? Yep. Okie dokie. Now let's position these new objects back out here then. One, two, three, four. Phone booths can go right up here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, TVs can go here. Let's put one here. And uh, where else can we put one? Let's put one there on that corner. And I guess we could put some benches down because they like sitting around the edges, I guess. Uh, can't do that because there's trees in the way. Um, I could just put benches like that. It's alright. As long as they've got a path around the outside. Right. I think I'm going to split this part here. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I think the prison is coming along pretty nicely. So uh, remember to join me in the next episode if you are enjoying this Let's Play. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.